Hey guys, we're back with Desperate Housewives really quick. Um, I will be doing a Minecraft event tomorrow. I was going to put a video out about that today, but I don't know all the specifics yet, so I'm just going to put it up early tomorrow, and if you guys want to join, look out for that video then. But for right now, we need to play more Desperate Housewives because this game's getting crazy. There are people who spend a lifetime earning the respect and admiration of their peers and neighbors. Rip. Oh, I thought one of the <laughs> Jason. It can all be for naught. Dang. Yeah, this is right. Bree's coming to yell at us. When one's decency is called into question. I think our son made those flyers saying she's easy. Well, I mean, it's not a lie. Did you honestly believe you would get away with this? Get away with what? Don't play games with me, young man. You know exactly what I mean. Uh, no, I don't. Mom, can you help me out here? Oh no, what did he do now? Why are you yelling at my son? Your son has been posting these flyers all around the neighborhood. I didn't do it. Mom, you've got to believe me. Take a deep breath, Bree. Now tell me, do you have one of the flyers with you? Yes, I have one right here. See for yourself. Danielle is, no, no, my son would never do this. Danielle is easy. Why do you think we did this? Why would my son go to all this trouble just to call some girl easy? But like, honestly, why would someone go to all that trouble when everyone knows she already is easy? No, why do you think we did this? It's obvious he's trying to get revenge on our family. Poor delusional boy thought he was good enough for my Danielle. You know what? The last time I checked, it was Julie that was spreading rumors about Danielle, not we. Oh, dang, and Susan's right here. She's Danielle's mom. Ooh, we could get a big fight going. All right, maybe. I'm not seeing it, Bree. What is obvious about it? Is that what you think, too, Susan? I don't know what to think. All I know is Danielle is spreading vicious rumors about Julie at school. Oh, okay. So Danielle has a motive. As soon as Julie told me, I came over here. We may not agree who the culprit is, but we both agree that this whole issue started because of your son's actions. What? Excuse me? I'm just here for moral support for my two favorite girls. Why the fuck? Okay. Ugh. Carl, I thought it was um, Paul Young for a second. I was like, what the fuck? And then, yeah, no, it's Carl. I couldn't tell. Everyone's dancing around the subject, but the one thing we know is that your son has ruined our girls' lives. What? What the fuck did we do to Danielle? We didn't do it. Danielle chose to make fun of your daughter on her own. What the fuck? Okay, let's all take a deep breath here. I have an idea. Why don't you let me take care of my own son? No, I should be yelling at them. Oh, let's all calm down here. Don't you dare tell me to calm down. I'll calm down if you teach your damn son some manners. Yeah. All right, fine. I will look into the flyers, and once I prove my son didn't make them, I'll make sure he settles things with your girls. That sounds reasonable. I'm gonna make some fucking flyers of my own. Works for me. Bree? Yes, I suppose that will suffice. Oh, great. If your son is innocent. Who's this? There you are. Oh, Jesus. Do you have a problem with my son as well? Your son has been sending me some terrible emails. God damn it. What kind? Let's just say they involve a lot of derogatory terms. Not the kind of words you find on the SATs. There you go. What more proof do you need that your son is a little criminal? <laughs> you can't be serious. We? Is any of this true? I told you I had nothing to do with it. I'm going to get to the bottom of this, and so help me if I found you had any hand in it, we... If my son says he didn't do it, he didn't do it. All right, I'll, I'll give you support. You better not have fucking done this shit. So that's it. He tells you he didn't do it and you believe him. Unlike some parents in this neighborhood, I have good reason to trust my child. Dang. Yes, I do. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to figure out what I'm going to say this one. How Fuck dare off. you? I don't need to stand here and take this abuse. I'm going to get to the bottom of this myself. <laughs> wow. That was really harsh. I was going to say I'm going to get out of here before this thing gets ugly, but it's too late. Come on, Carl. Sure thing, Susie Q. Now, as for you... Oh, wait, whoa. Now, as for you, Allison, I promise to get to the bottom of this email fiasco, too. If my son was involved, I'll take care of him, okay? 
Better leave two Allison so I can take care of my son. All right, I'm gonna say this one. Okay, just keep in mind, they were very nasty little emails. If he did this, something has to be done. Thanks for getting rid of them, Mom. All right, get inside. I'm going to deal with you in a minute. Oh my god, what's going on in the game? Alright, how's our garden? I haven't checked my garden in a while, because I'm pretty sure Mrs. Davenport died of old age, so she's not here. Oh my god! Okay, where's the fucking bug spray? Jesus. There's like... Wait, what is your current bug spray has no effect on these bugs? Maybe your neighbors can help. Are you fucking kidding me? Do I need to go talk to Mrs. Davenport? Does she even still live here? Oh my god, I actually do. Oh my god, alright. Mm, there she is. It's been a while. Ten years later. Oh wait, too late. She fell and needed to use life alert. Hello, can I help you with something? Um, I need your help. I need gardening tips, girl. Shoot. Um, okay, I have this friend whose garden is infested with some strange looking bugs. My, her normal bug spray doesn't seem to do anything. So, you got a bug problem, huh? All right. No, not me, it's my friend's garden. Give me one good reason why I should help you. Because if you don't, maybe I'll bring one of these bugs and accidentally drop it in your garden, bitch. <laughs> You'd do that, wouldn't you? Yes. Follow me. Let's pick your poison. Thank you. Mrs. Davenport, are well, we going to become friends with her? you didn't give me her? much choice, did you? Ah, here we are. Uh, let me find you the right poison. Ooh, there are so many good ones to choose from. Wow, you have quite the selection of rat poisons. What are you talking about? Your entire room here is lined with boxes of rat poison. It looks like wallpaper. Whoa, what the fuck, Mrs. Davenport? I knew there's something- there's not some- something's wrong with her. I knew there was something wrong with her when she came to our house at midnight and started yelling at us about our garden. She probably put the bugs in my yard. Uh, you have to, like- Oh, that? What are you doing? Well, let's just say insects aren't the only pests I worry about. What are you talking about? Poison is poison. Enough of it will kill whatever is bothering you. Okay, that's a little creepy. No, no, don't say that. We can't act like we're onto her. Just, right, yeah, of course. Never mind. Here's the bug spray you wanted. Be sure to give it back to me when you're done. Thank you, I'll be going now. From the looks of this place, I'd hate to get on your bad side. We need to start being nice to her. <sighs> Goodbye. Anna, thanks again for the help. Alright, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out. Don't answer the hey, phone yet. It's this is Vincent. Oh god, I can't talk to you right now. There's crazy old bitch with poison. What do you want? I was just calling to check in on you. Well, actually, there are some things that popped up. I'm trying to deal with them right now. Other than cleaning up after my son's messes. Oh my god. Jesus. To be honest, things could be, couldn't be worse. This entire morning has been a train wreck. Really? Is there anything I can do? You know, I've had some experience with this kind of thing. Thanks for the offer, Vincent, but I'll be fine. I can handle it on my own. Um, I'm good. And how are things between you and your husband? You know, same as always, a few bumps here and there, but we're okay. I hate to ask, but I heard some stories. About some greedy secretary that was trying to blackmail him or something. Um, we've gotten past that. <laughs> Did you ever find Over out what it. was in his safe? Listen, I'm not feeling comfortable with this line of questions, Vincent. You want to tell me what's going on? The I happen safe. to know there is some very important information in that safe. Things you need to see. I've wanted to see what's in the safe. Will we finally know? Have you been checking up on me as well? What are you doing now? Checking up on my husband? Listen, we shouldn't talk about this over the phone. I'm sending a package over to your house later. Make sure your husband's not around when you open it. I have to go now, but rest assured I have your best interests at heart. I gotta go. Oh my fucking god. Shit is blowing up! Oh my god, we should just- who the fuck was that? Seduce? Who are you? Who did I just click- wait, what? Wait, go back! 
I didn't click on anyone. It said the light pole was Jamal. Oh, or Jam I don't know what your name is. Seduce. Who are you? Why are you? What are you? Wait! What are you doing on my street? Hey there. Do I know you? No, but today's your lucky day. What are you talking you about? You will work just fine. Did you see that? I need a sex slave and you're the lucky stiff who gets the job. I want to have a one night stand with a total stranger and since I don't know you... I'm like a pussy cat. I want to rub up against you and have you pet me. And I don't care who you are. Wow, we're not saying that, garbage. Oh my fucking god, can you... S Why are cars always like... I need a sex joking, slave. Fuck off! Stop right? beeping at me! I'm trying I mean, to get a sex slave! Not, but surely you are. Don't take too much time or a line will start to form. Literally, a line will start to form. I know it's a hard decision, but you have to decide. But isn't that a wedding ring you're wearing? What are you talking about? <laughs> no? Uh, what? Um, what else would I be- Wait, why else would I be doing this? Sex only gets worse once you get married, right? Um, I'll take it off. I can't believe this is happening. How did I get so lucky? So where should we go to do this? I can't believe this either. We shouldn't go anywhere. I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me, but I have to get out of here. Let's go back to my place. This soccer mom is so fucking jealous. We just picked up a random. At first I thought it was a light pole glitched out and we were going to seduce a light pole, but I'm glad it didn't turn out to be the light pole. Wow. And that's a room. That was okay, even there we better go. than I had hoped it would be. <laughs> it was fantastic. I'm so glad I took the risk and I asked you to come into my bedroom. Oh my god, the fucking bugs. Awkward. Don't look at my garden. I guess I had hoped for a little more than you then. I guess it was passable for what it was, though. Um, You must have far lower standards than me then. That was terrible. Ugh. Oh god. We'll be nice. Nah, we don't fucking know. We don't need to be nice. That was, well, that sucked. I enjoyed it. I guess you shouldn't be picking up strange men for quick sex if you don't really want it. You really were terrible, you know. You are really going to have to work on your technique, or I think every woman you meet will be disappointed. Damn! Never had any other complaints? Maybe you should critique your own performance a little. <laughs> you may be right. I guess. I'll... No, no, no. I have no interest in debating any of this with you. You are dead to me. Goodbye. Fucking random pleb. Oh, fucking walk on my garden. See if I give a fuck. I hope you, sh fuck. You help me out. You know. Probably stepped on some of these crazy ass bugs. Damn it. Let me do my fucking garden. Pest control. Oh shit. Mrs. Davenport knows what's up. Where the fuck is my gardener? Alright. God, now my shit's all fucked up. This shit is dead. Just throw it out. I don't give a fuck what goes there. Just... Well, fuck. Fuck. I give up. I'm done. I'm done. I'm fucking done. Where's my gardener? Seriously, and where's the maid? Weren't we supposed to have a lesbian love affair with my maid? You guys told me I could, and so far, my maid doesn't even show up. Like, what? When is my maid supposed to show up? Mystery number. Oh. Services. Hello, you have reached AAA Temporary Services. Cleaning service. Please select the level of cleaning service you would like to hire. Gold For more cleaning. Information this on bitch should be living here. Would you like to order or cancel additional services? Uh, no, I'm done. Where is the goddamn maid? Wash hands, primp. No, use stairs. Is she upstairs? No, of course not. Oh, hold up. What's going on here? Are these fucking flyers? <sighs> Why can't I just creep on his computer? Whatever. <gasps> there she is! Oh my god, you can! Seduce! Two seduction. Are you fucking kidding me? She fucking disappeared? As soon as I'm about to seduce her? Where are we going? I mean, I haven't clicked anything. Maybe we're just going to wherever the may- Oh, there she is. We're still gonna seduce her. I was so pissed off. Like, can you not do that ever again? I'm just trying to seduce you. I pay you really good money. 
Is she serious? Is she fucking serious right now? Excuse me! Hello? No, stop! Did you need something else? Yes, actually. <sighs> well, if you are game, I think there may be one more dirty deed that needs to be done. Um, what sort of deed? I'm pretty sure the whole house is in order. Uh, <laughs> I was wondering if perhaps you might be interested in cleaning some more intimate areas of this house. If you ask me, there's still one thing left before this house is in order. A nice hot bubble bath for two. Um, alright, we'll go for a bitch's love bubble baths. Actually, I love maybe bubble a baths. shower would be better. I did work up quite a sweat cleaning your house. Oh dear, listen to us. I can't seduce my own maid. I'm sorry, please forgive me. You must leave now. Oh, a shower sounds pretty good right about now. Meet me in the bedroom so I can get you out of those clothes. Are you serious? Oh, I like- she's still wearing the maid's uniform? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like how the husband and son are home, too. <laughs> Hold on, I'll be getting son. back to my duties now. Husband. Just need to take a shower with the maid. Help her clean. Thank you, that will be all for now. I'll let you know if I require your services again. Thank you for filled all your duties. What the hell were you doing back there? Did you listen to a single thing I said or were you too busy moaning to hear me? Alright, just let's be nice. Whatever you say, ma'am. We actually have I'll to be see her back every to my day. Duties now. So can we seduce random women on the streets? Why can't I seduce the random women on the streets? Is there something wrong with random women on the streets? I could seduce the men on the streets. I could just seduce my female maid. So obviously, skank goes both ways. That's not the problem. Have you noticed some strange characters hanging around the neighborhood? The only strange character I see is you. Very funny. See you. All right, bye. <laughs> Wait, here's another. Gabrielle? She stole, she stole Gabrielle's name. All right, what am I doing now? Let's do something here. Danielle is what? Flyers have been posted all over the neighborhood claiming Danielle is easy. Your son is being blamed for this, but he insists that he is innocent. Oh, wait. We should probably go talk. We never talk to our son. I... Wow. I'm a great parent. They're like, your son did all this bad shit. You should do something about it. I'm like, of course. I will talk to him right now. After yelling at all of them. And then I just had... I just had sex with the maid and some random off the street instead. Oh. Oh, God. Alright. Well, you know... No one's a perfect parent. I'll work on it. Please, just talk. Here we go. Mom, I told you. I'm innocent. I know, dear. You're awfully quick to defend yourself. How can I be sure of that? You don't trust me? Have you given me any reason to? What are you talking about? Well, there was a time you lied to me about you and Danielle being out late. Okay, look, I'm sorry I lied about that, but that was different. This time I'm telling the truth, and I know it's serious. If you're lying to me again, you're going to be in so much trouble. Really, Mom, that's it? I told you, I'm innocent. It's quick to defend I don't yourself. have a choice. I feel like I've been under attack lately and that I'm always on the defensive. I'm sorry for all that. So what are you going to do about it? Whoa. I'm going to save your ungrateful hide like I always do. Um, okay. Alright, well, fuck. Why doesn't the husband deal with it? I'm not the only fucking hey, parent. Hon. How was your poker game? Can you deal with your son? Had a nice time. Just shut up. It's not whether you win or lose, it's how you play the game. Can you please fucking stop? Oh my god. How much money did you win? Doesn't matter. Wait, hold on. Hey, hun. How was your poker oh, game? Oh god. It's not whether you Never mind. Lose, it's how no, you play the game. shut up, please. I don't want your basic ass quotes. Please. Alright. Yeah, let's go talk to Danielle. Alright. Danielle. See what she has to say. To claim its prey. What are you doing here? What do you want? Oh god, I do not want to talk to you. Oh, how are you holding up with this flyer issue? 
supplier issue? This isn't an issue. This is about some jerk I don't know telling everyone in this town that I'm easy. Do you have any thoughts on who would send out those flyers? Yeah, I have a strong suspicion. It was Julie Mayer. Why would she try to destroy you like this? What does she have against you? Doesn't sound like the Julie I know. Why would she do it? Like I know what's going on in that little nerdy brain of hers. She's probably still pissed that your son stood her up. For me. You don't, you don't think my son did this? Don't get me wrong, I'm still mad at your son. But it's not his style to do this kind of thing. He's a little weird, but he's not crazy. Well then why was Bree fucking coming at me? For one thing, we never hooked up. Not that I wouldn't have minded, but my mom made sure of that. Yeah, I know you wouldn't have minded. But mainly, Julie Mayer's been calling my friends at school, talking about all the boys I've been with, as if I would sleep with Damon. Ugh. All right, so come on, Danielle. What would have happened between you two if your mom didn't stop you? We all know the truth. That's all I need to know. Thank you. All right, let's go talk to Julie. Can we talk to her? Now that you have the flyer, it's time to do a little detective work. Okay, where's the flyer? Can I look at it? Ew, why do I have a fucking dead bug body on me? the fuck god damn it hold on here we go i looked at it what guess i can't son's writing sample if you're looking closely at the flyer it appears that the text was written with feminine handwriting okay we need a we seriously need writing samples from julie and we all right where's julie right here Hi, can I have a writing sample? Oh, it's you. What do you want? I'll be straight with you, Julie. I know for a fact my son didn't put up these flyers about Danielle. I also know the handwriting on it is a girl's. I don't want to lose the attitude, Julie. I'm your elder and I deserve some respect. I wouldn't have attitude, except for your son. All right, granted, my son may not be an angel. I don't understand. What did we do to you? Well, because your son was putting those flyers around, Danielle is convinced I did it. And now she hates me. So now she's spreading that around school. Everyone thinks I'm some kind of psychotic skank. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Careful how you use that word, all right? The worst thing is that even though I didn't do it, I've been ripping down the flyers whenever I see them. I still feel bad for Danielle, even if she's gone all psycho on me. Funny you should say that, since my son says the same thing. Wait, he didn't do it? Of course not. I raised him better than that. What? Are you accusing me now? You certainly had a motive. Well, for your information, I'm innocent. And if you think I would actually be capable of something like that, then I'm done talking with you. Would you mind putting that in writing? Just write, I do not think Danielle is easy and sign it. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. I'm not going to do that. I'm just trying to help you out, Julie. Prove your innocence by writing Danielle is easy so I can compare it to the flyer. Listen, Miss Detective Housewife, I'm not in the mood for your Can't tell her games. we're doing that. Are you done yet? Try to write differently. Okay, then. Something else. <sighs> oh, really? Is there another subject you'd like to harass me about? What the fuck? Actually, I'm collecting statements from everyone about Daniel Fox. I want to put together a book of how the residents of Austeria Lane were affected by Daniel's life. Oh, my God. What? I really when? didn't so know when Mr. Were we doing Fox this? all that well. I wouldn't know what to write. Don't worry, sweetie. I'll dictate. You just write it down with your cute little circles over the eyes and little hearts for periods. That doesn't make sense. Shouldn't this be like a personal message or something? I think the fact that you're willing to write any message is a personal enough gesture. <sighs> Sounds a little weird to me. But, okay. What should I write? I'd start with something like Danielle <laughs> led. Danielle led. Smart. See, I didn't know where Skank was going with this until she's like, you need to write something down. But this is a good way to get it. But as soon as she was like, I'm putting together a book of thoughts. I thought we were just asking what you thought and then we were going to write it down. But yeah, this makes more. Never mind. I'd start with something like Danielle led. <laughs> a fashion show that brought the neighborhood together. Then say something like the neighborhood is a darker place without him. Then you conclude with something like it will not be easy to go on without Daniel Fox. Wow. I didn't realize you cared about Daniel so much. It's so sweet of you to do this in his memory. Here's my message to add to your book. Thank you very much, Julie. I have no idea how much I appreciate your help. Oh, you're great. 
Wonderful. Now we need a writing sample for our son, which will be easy since he had like tons of random papers crunched up in his bedroom. He probably did it. Like just looking at his room, he he might have done it. Wait, maybe we can just ask him. Mom, I told you I'm innocent. I was able to get a closer look at one of the flyers. And now you believe I didn't write it? Well, it's clearly a girl's handwriting, and unless you turn turn feminine on me, you're innocent. Your handwriting looks nothing like this. Well, who do you think wrote it then? I don't know, but we have to prove your innocence to everyone else, so I'm going to need something from you. Sure, Mom. I need a sample Anything. of your handwriting with the same message. You want me to write, Danielle is easy? Don't is be stupid. I'm going to prove you're innocent. All right. If you think it's best, there you go. Thanks. All right, we're good, we're good. Now... All right, Frank Fox will be the best person to figure out where the... Oh, wait, no. All right, dogs are fine. On the other side of the flyer is a note about a missing dog. It appears that whomever posted these reused an existing flyer. Talk to the dog owner in the neighborhood, Mike Delfino. All right, yeah, Danielle... Or, I mean, Julie fucking did it. Mike Delfino's her mom's boyfriend. Oh, they blame my son. They don't even, like, look at what's on the back of the fucking flyer. Why? 